Hey YouTube, this is Ryan from RMP Reptiles. Just doing a big update on all my animals. Alright, so first, this is my fish. His name is Blake. He's pretty cool, kind of. And then I got this new snake. This is a wild snake. This is a baby black rat snake. And... I would take him out, but he just ate, so I'm just going to leave him be. And then in here, this is Levi. I'll show you her. So this is Levi. Just my little normal female. If she's my second to oldest snake, and she's still, like, she's only this big. She's like, here, let me weigh her real quick. She, I, I think she's like five years old, and she weighs only 700 grams. So she's not really that big, but for five years. But that's her. Let me fix her cage. So that's Levi. There's Levi. And then, I already showed you the wild snake. And then, most of the tadpoles, they died and stuff. Um, but, yes, there's a couple dead frogs in here. But a bunch of them turned into frogs in here. You can get, you see them hopping around. Leopard frogs. They're pretty cool. I just wanted to see if how many of them I could hatch. And I think that there's four of them in here. And then there's two dead. There, yeah, there's two dead ones. And then a couple more tadpoles, that's it. And then, next, there is, um, this is my rack, my new rack that I made a video of a while ago. But, um, you haven't gotten to see it, like, since it's, I've been using it. I just started using it, like, not too long ago. Got the thermostat set to 80 degrees right now, because it's, I started breeding them. Like, I put them together the first of this month. So I'll show them to you. We got my spider to my pastel in here. And I don't think that they're locked right now. Yeah, they're not. But you can see how both their tails are right there. But that's them. Spider times pastel. And I think that they're just not locked right now because my, um, my spider's in shed. That's why she's so dark. And then we've got my friend Austin. He's got his Mojave. And then this is my Mojave, and they, um, yeah, I don't, they're not locked either, see their tail, but that's them, I'm just going to leave them be, I don't want to like bother them too much, but that's them, and then, and then we've got Ty, which, this is my pinstripe, and originally I wasn't planning on doing anything with him this season, but... Then when I went to the reptile show um, this weekend, like two days ago, I ended up getting a normal female, which is a new snake. It's my normal female. And about December or January, I'm going to start bringing her to my pinstripe. And she is just like crazy. She like, she'll eat. And you can't really get a good look. I mean, you can kind of get a good look at her. I'm not really going to bother her too much right now. But... She's pretty cool. I'm excited to try and produce some just normal pinstripes with her. And then also, my friend Austin, who's got the Mojave, um, with my Mojave, he picked up a normal female also. So we're going to try and take my pinstripe to his normal female also. And this is her. This is a proven... A normal female. The one that I got was not proven, but this one, she's I think seven, um, uh, thousand one hundred grams. So she, she should be ready in a little bit to breed. And since she just like laid not too long ago, so we're just gonna give her some time off. But that's her. She's really pretty. Back. 
There you go, girl. She'll hide back. She doesn't really want to be bothered right now. So that's her. So I showed you all the snakes. I mean, that's pretty much it. We redid my room stuff. Went to the show, got a couple new things. And I'll do an update once my... Um, once the snakes start to change, like going through ovulation, the shed, and stuff like that from breeding. Alright, thanks guys for watching. Bye.